Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to download additional glances for your Garmin Forerunner 955 watch using the Garmin Connect IQ store. Now I'm using the solar version, it shouldn't matter whether you've got the solar or non-solar version. I'll also say that this video is pretty, uh, even though I'm using the Forerunner 955, this pretty, should be pretty much the same for other watches that connect to Garmin Connect IQ. The Instinct 2, the Forerunner, or sorry, the Phoenix 7 models such as that. So. What are we talking about? Let's go into our glance listing. If I simply press the up or down button, it'll take me into what's called my glances. You can see I've got the ABC glance, I've got the weather, altimeter, barometer, all of these things are great. But what if there's something else that we're looking for? I can go to the bottom of the list, I can choose edit, and then again, I can go to the bottom and I can choose add. Now there's a lot of different things that are gonna be delivered with the watch. So all of this stuff, you don't have to do anything except for choose it if you wanna add it to your glance listing. But what if there's something in here that you're not seeing that you're interested in? In my case, I wanna see the moon information and it's not listed as an available glance for me. What do we do at this point? We go to the Garmin Connect IQ app on our cell phone and we can download that additional glance and bring it to our watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and press back. And at this point, let's get on the cell phone. I'll download it, we'll come back to the watch and we'll check it out on the watch. Okay, so now I'm on my cell phone. Now, I'm an Apple user. It shouldn't matter whether you're Apple or Android. The one thing that you will have to have is the Garmin Connect IQ app, and that is a free app from Garmin. And basically, it's their app store where you can go look for additional watch faces, glances, so on and so forth. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go into it. At the bottom right, you should see that your device is connected. If not, you need to check your connection settings because you have to have a connection in order to pull in information to your watch. Now, I'm simply just going to click on the search uh, option here at the bottom and I can go up here and I can look for music watch faces data fills apps I'm simply gonna go up here and I'm gonna type in moon you can see I've looked for it before you can clear your search history if you want to so here's all the different things it found for me for moon there's a moony moon watch face moon card what I'm looking for here is the Sun and moon glance I can go down, I can read reviews about it, I can make sure it's compatible with my device, I can flag it as inappropriate, contact the developer, do whatever I wanna do, but in this example, all we're gonna be doing is simply clicking on install. It's gonna say, hey, listen, this app requires GPS location, are you okay with that? I'm going to allow it. And now it is installing this glance onto my device. So you're gonna wait for a couple of seconds here, Depending on your uh, internet connection, you'll see in my case, it didn't take very long at all. Now we've downloaded the glance. We shouldn't have to do anything else except for go on our watch and see if it's there. That's what we're gonna do now. So I'm gonna get off of the cell phone. Let's go back on the watch and we'll take a look at the sun and moon glance. Okay, so now I'm back on my watch. It's very simple. There's really nothing to it other than going out to an app, looking for what you want, clicking on install, and then go look and see if it made it to your watch. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna press either the up or down button. Now, because I just downloaded the glance, it should automatically get put at the bottom of my list, I believe. And you'll notice as I press the up button, it takes me to the bottom. Here is the sun and moon glance. We didn't see that before and it wasn't in our available listing, but now it is on my watch. I can press the upper right button and now I've got the sun and moon information for my given location. I can cycle through the different days uh, hopefully, let's see, oh, there we go, I have to select it. Now I can go through, look at tomorrow's information, the next day, so on and so forth. Pretty simple stuff. That is how we download a glance from the Garmin Connect IQ app for our Garmin 4 under 955. As always, I hope the video helps. If you like videos about watches, I hope you'll think about subscribing to this channel. Thanks for watching.